one of the access points to, to use generative AI in the application is um, right here on the alert detail screen. So I can click open chat. And what this is going to do is it's just going to open a sidebar chat uh, where I can ask any question I want for documentation that's included, you know, here in this demo. So maybe, uh, so this is about the fuel gas supply system. Maybe as I'm doing my investigation, I think uh, what else might be going on on my gas turbine, maybe on the air system or another piece of equipment. So I'll ask, um, what are the failure mechanisms associated with the axial compressor? And so what's going on now is uh, C3 Generative AI leverages large language models. And it, what the large language model is doing is it's, it's interpreting my question. It's going to then go retrieve the information from the documents that I provided access to. And then it's going to give me an answer that's truly generative in nature. It's not just a copy paste or a lookup. And it's generating this response based on either a single document or a combination of document multiple um, different locations in a given document um, and it's going to generate this answer that, that answers my question and so i see I, I answered my question it tells me you know from this table there's different failure mechanisms and what's really powerful about this is that now i have the ability to also trace this answer to ground truth and so i see my sources here i can hover over my handbook for my gas turbine and see the specific passage that this came from within this document and then I can go click the source. And what this is gonna do is now it's gonna open my document and it's gonna take me directly to the page um, that that information came from. And so here's the table that it referenced in there, table 2110, and here are the different failure mechanisms that it summarized for me. And notice that it just summarized the specific failure mechanisms for me rather than all this other information to the side. And so this is really nice now that I can go in, double check where it came from, but then also see more information about uh, the different failure mechanisms that pulled from this table specifically. You can see that this is over a thousand page document and so it's going straight to page 819. This is where it derived that information from. And so that's the capability of how you would ask a, a question in a chat form. Um, it's very easy and intuitive to sync this uh, application to your, type, your different types of documents. And so what I'll do now is I'll quickly show what that looks like. I'm gonna click the generative AI and now what this is going to do is it's going to take me to the administrative page um, within the application. So here is where you can review the different types of documents that have been indexed and included um, for your generative AI search. So the large language model is only going to query, you know, these documents that you've provided access to. It's not going to be um, like chat GPT where you just ask any question. Um, if, it, if it's not relevant to the documents you provided, then it's, it's going to say, I don't know the answer to that. And so what I've done here on this demo is I've integrated, um, you know, different types of documents, maybe gas turbines and chiller systems. You can see them here. And this process literally takes, you know, five minutes. Um, I can click upload. I can drag and drop new documents uh, as needed, or you could point this to, you know, source directories. So let's say you have a directory of operations manuals or troubleshooting guides or historical maintenance failures. Um, you can point it to all of those different types of things and essentially you just give it access to, to that document and then you can start asking questions. And included in this is of course, uh, another access point within the application is where you can just simply have, you know, a Google search bar type interface where you just ask questions and, and you have access to that same information and you have the ability to get those source documents.